Brian Howe is the true voice of Bad Company. This is the Rock and Roll Weatherman. My name is Sean Morrison. A lot of people might um, respectfully disagree with me, but hey, that's okay. That's what um, polite discussions are for. Yes, the band did have popularity with, with about five or six albums they did with Paul Rogers. And Brian Howe came to the band in 1986. But, um... But their popularity started to begin on the um, 19, um, 88 release Dangerous Age. Of course, Fame and Fortune was a lower charting album, but the beautiful song This Love was on it, which is an, an underground classic. And of course, big hits that um, Brian Howe had with Bad Company did include No Smoke Without a Fire, Holy Water, If You Need Somebody. How about that? Of course, that excellent ballad, This Could Be The One. He did leave the band in 1994. Bad Company had another vocalist, Roger Hart, which, who lasted one album. And he sounded more like that guy, Paul Rogers, you know, the one that was arrogant about the death of, um, when, when the death of, um, Brian Howe was announced. And of course, Brian Howe did do some solo material as well, which is out there you can still purchase. And he did sing with Ted Nugent as well before he joined Bad Company. If you're not subscribed to the Sean Morrison YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else out there that subscribed, thank you very much for the continued love, honor, and support. It's greatly appreciated. So in the opinion of Mr. Morrison, he feels that Brian Howe was the true voice of Bad Company. What do you think, friends? Shame, shame, shame.